Okay, everyone, happy Friday, happy weekend. Whenever you're watching, this is Nadia Touch, your non negotiable wellness coach habits. Is this the right sequence of words? Uh, your accountability wellness coach. And um, again, whenever I look, I just want to go live and share with you non negotiable fitness habits. What are those? So, what are the non negotiable habits? We actually sometimes think of them, or in my case, if I hear non-negotiable habits, it's something I need to be doing and not negotiate. Yes, and, but, those are the habits we actually already do. The body is doing them anyway. Speaking of fitness, right now I'm standing, so my posture is already my posture is, I'm moving my body, the functional movement is already the way my movement is. It's those things that we are kind of doing, that's why their actions then become habits, either way already, okay? Wow, beautiful grammar, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> so, in order to have those non-negotiable to serve us, we want to make sure to really tap into them with curious eye or curious glasses and see do I need to upgrade that habit. If that habit is great, do I need to uplift it a little bit? If that habit is non-existent, ooh, can I tap into that first and there's hierarchy of those non-negotiables too and start baby steps. In fact, the hierarchy of those non-negotiables, let's talk about fitness is uh, superb because you actually start by not changing much of anything so in fact today i want to cover just two so in our wellness vortex model it's the wellness habits model but it's development of our consciousness around the wellness habits for us we have three pillars of wellness we have mindset nutrition and fitness today i'm going to be talking about fitness or movement and in fact I'm going to cover two main non-negotiable fitness habits but you will see how just stepping into this two you're going to cover the other non-negotiable fitness habits honestly can't remember how many fitness habits there maybe six maybe five -ish. if you have my journal you will see there okay and if not you can go to coachingbynadia.com and you will see the link, Get My Power Journal. Okay, and again, those are the habits we're already performing. We just want to make sure are we doing our best in those habits. Okay, so let's talk about number one, posture. Number two, functional movement. If you notice, it's a pillar, fit, uh, pillar fitness, fitness pillar, <laughs> words combined but they are not really formal fitness just yet so in order to tap into the movement especially for those who are not yet consistent i'm kind of lacking that area of my health please don't think about going to the gym if you haven't been in the gym for months that's kind of a wrong place to start i know i'm a fitness trainer but i want to build the consistency for the rest of my life this way, I need to start with baby steps. So what is like the base foundation? The base foundation is actually move more. So I'm going to not cover it today because I'm going to cover proper posture and functional movement because you can move more by just stepping into these two habits. To me, they're like, if you just do that, your body already will start loving, feeling better, feeling stronger. That's why I think I'm, I want to stand while talking. And then you start tapping into, okay, how does this translate into the formal workouts? How can I incorporate it into other streams and areas of fitness, uh, etc.? And thus you will move more. So proper posture. In fact, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, please let me know whether you're watching it in the video or in the email or blog. Find a way to either reply or post in the comments if you like a... Uh, proper posture and functional movement course. The course is designed, and today is a short version, to build the um, confidence in our physical body through how do I, what is the proper posture? What does that mean? What are the things I need to keep in mind and do and pay attention to? 
And what is the functional movement? Because functional movement is what we do daily. How do I do it properly? What are the tools? And how much functional movement can translate into our daily routine? And also I can tap into how to work out properly. That will help you build strength, build balance, prevent injuries, etc. Weight loss, of course, is there too. Proper posture. Again, think about when we just step into being intentional of standing or sitting properly, shoulders back and down, chest lifted, tummy in, relax your knees, pull your head back, stand nice and tall. This just by itself, Tony Robbins says, want to change your emotion, change your motion. So by doing that, you will bring like emotional, mental confidence you see I'm doing like momentum is building so if you need to make a phone call if you need to go up and speak this is the best way to bring your energy up this by itself already builds that strength aligns your body so you actually start uh, developing your muscles physically too I'm trying to find the words that are not yet fitness related <laughs> okay so please proper posture is your foundation and the functional movement is again those functional movements are what we perform daily push and pull and twist and bending walking uh squatting lunging so knowing of uh, proper biomechanics of our physical body while performing those moves are so crucially important again you're going to build confidence you're going to prevent literally injuries when you pick something heavy or push something heavy away you know what muscles to use how to engage your full body your core versus just your shoulders okay okay and then when we tap into this proper movements we actually what we're already doing we've been mindful of our body mindfulness is one of our habits we tap into slightly moving more without even moving more we just move more but paying attention and that functional movement knowledge can be built as functional fitness that's what i teach and it can be your formal workouts usually we recommend two three times a week of strength training and again functional fitness is that besides you get a little cardio in there besides you already move more i'm looking at my notes and i hope that becomes fun as well because they're very different brain doesn't get bored you have people with you and you feel better when you feel better behavior rewarded because you feel better behavior repeated your brain wants to say hey let's do it again all right folks i think i need to head out for our um, my power journal book discussion we're going to start a new one soon i believe but again let's focus on the habits that we are already doing tap into that and with baby steps decide which is non-negotiable step for my movement and fitness routine that i need to focus on moving more proper posture functional movement formal fitness and etc so start with baby steps let me know if you would like a course it's going to be close to the end of the month before our holiday and again please remember by moving your body you feel better you feel stronger you feel more clear you create that energy and vibrancy ripple effect around you so imagine more of us are going to do it more of us are doing it we can create that vibrancy and vitality around the world please remember to love the world through your daily choices thank you for listening before you go, in the comments or reply to me what spoke to you in this message.